Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be installing VirtualM Wrapper for Python 2 on Windows. I'm going to assume you already have Python 2 installed, since most Linux distros come with Python 2. This tutorial will also cover setting up VirtualMs that use Python 3. In this video, I'll be using a Cloud9 instance, since Cloud9 instances are run off of Ubuntu. Click the link in the card for my video about what Cloud9 is and how I use it. In your terminal window, type sudo pip install virtualenv wrapper. You might be asked for your admin password, depending on what sort of user you're logged in as. Note that normally you should never use sudo when dealing with Python projects, but in this one case we really do want to use it. Once the install finishes, type source virtualenv wrapper sh. This will set up some aliases and links and will give us a big heads up if something went awry. To double check that everything is fine, type make virtualenv into your terminal. You should get some help text rather than an error. Now let's make a virtualenv. If you type make virtualenv and then the name of a virtualenv into your terminal window, you should get some text about installing Python. Once the virtualenv has been created, virtualenv wrapper will activate it. Now that we know that virtualenv wrapper is working, we need to modify your bash profile. Your bash profile is a file in your home directory that's loaded every time you open up a new terminal window. If you want virtualenv wrapper loaded every time you open a new terminal window, you're going to need to let macOS know by adding it to your bash profile. To do this, open .bash underscore profile in your home directory. I'm using vi here, but any text editor will do. At the bottom of the file, add the text source virtualenv wrapper .sh. Save and close the file. To make sure it worked, open up a new terminal window and type make virtual env. If you see the help text, then you're all set. Some Linux distros require Python 2 in order to work and may still require Python 2 be the default Python. If that's the case, you can tell virtual env wrapper to use Python 3 using the Python flag. You'll need to find out where your Python 3 binary is using the which command. Then, when you make a virtual env, set the Python path to Python 3 by typing in make virtual env double dash python equals path to Python 3, whatever that is on your system, and then the name of your environment. And that's it. I hope this was useful to you. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments or track me down on Twitter.